What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So uh, as you guys may know, we recently got a data download on Global and because of that we were able to learn a lot of details about part 2 of the Christmas celebration on Global which is actually starting tonight at Event Reset which is 1.30 a.m. for me but it might be a different time for you either way it's very very soon so in today's video i want to keep you guys uh, in the loop and fill you in on all the details that we learned from this data download now first things first i want to give a big shout out to Kawhi on twitter because a lot of the information i'm using in this video is uh, directly from his twitter feed so huge huge thank you huge shout out to Kawhi. and without further ado guys let's jump in starting with the new characters we can expect the new units we can expect for part two of the christmas celebration now as you guys may know i mean i've been talking about it for quite some time now lr kale and khalifa's banner is finally making its way to global so of course we're getting kale and khalifa themselves if you guys want a detailed breakdown of what they do uh, feel free to check out the video i made about two days ago going over their banner and uh, giving you guys my opinions about whether or not they're worth summoning for and uh, for a quick summary, I would say they're definitely worth summoning for because they are one of, if not the best unit in the game. And I mean, it's hard to argue that, but that being said, their banner is pretty bad. So uh, as far as value goes for your stones, I don't think you should spend too many stones because the value really isn't there aside from this LR. Uh, we are also getting a new SDR Kale as well as a Tech Khalifla who are both very good, but I mean, I just don't feel like it's enough to make me want to wail on the banner. So for me personally, as someone who is willing to spend thousands of stones on a banner that's really good, I'm probably spending somewhere between 300 to 500 stones. So I would recommend most people, especially if you're free to play, to spend maybe like 100, 150 stones, test your luck a little bit, and then call it a day. But, you know, that's totally up to you. So aside from these three new units, we're also getting a... Uh, awakening for the SR Fizz Gohan from the Bojack uh, story event and if you guys didn't know we are getting the revamped version the renewed version of the Bojack movie story event so uh, more free stones which is great and also the awakening for this Fizz Gohan and he is um he's not bad he's not bad he he does need to i mean he's a little bit situational because he has a lot of restrictions on, on his passive and to get his full passive there's only like one or two events you can run into the game to get the full boost so overall i'd say he's okay but he is um i mean he is free to play so there's that he is also good for farming the super attacks of other super saiyan 2 gohans in the game so uh, there's also that use for him. So if you guys want the full breakdown of the BoJack movie event renewal, then go check out my video from yesterday. And uh, those are basically all the new units we know about. There could potentially be more, but it's unlikely. So there you go. Now we're going to move on to the next thing here, which is the Kale and Khalifa banner. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys the featured units once again. And like I said, man, it's not really super super exciting um i mean there are some good units right like kefla is still pretty solid uh bula is actually amazing um rebrand's good she doesn't have her Dokkan awakening on global yet she's not getting it yet but um her Dokkan awakening is quite solid as well so overall we have a good pool of uh non Dokkan best units but that being said man i, I just Legendary summon banners, just not good value for your stone. So like I said, don't go too crazy. I understand a lot of people are excited for Kaelin Khalifla, so um, I wouldn't fault anybody for summoning. I'm of course still going to be summoning, just not nearly as much as uh, I thought I would want to spend. But I mean, I, I just think, I feel like the release is a little bit late. Honestly, from the perspective of a global player, I feel like they waited a little bit too long. And uh, Kaelin Khalifla, while I like them as characters, they've just never been... The most hype characters to me so even though the unit is extremely extremely good like super busted um i'm not gonna be too upset if i don't get them right now you know so that's the banner right there nothing too crazy here and uh this one is actually new so we didn't know anything about this before the data download and of course it's from Kawhi's twitter page so this right here guys is a christmas ticket and you're like yo tiger we already got christmas tickets what are you talking about we already knew about them this is actually different from the Christmas tickets that we got from 
uh, the missions as well as uh, we're getting some more I think from logins, right? So this is actually different from the Christmas ticket we knew about. So what I'm thinking it is, um, it's probably going to be exactly the same if not very similar to the Halloween ticket we got. So it's probably going to be a peel off strove thing. And if you guys remember the Halloween ticket, it's basically a paid ticket that you could use to do a multi of, was it 20 units? I think it's 20, not 30, right? I know for at first I thought 30, I'm pretty sure it's 20 units in a multi. Or is it 30? Okay, 20 or 30, I don't remember. It's It's been a long time, it's been like two months, but either way, uh, you basically pay for this ticket, you buy it, and then you can do this big multi with three guaranteed SSRs um, on the legendary summon banner, in which case, in this case, it's gonna be for the Kale and Khalifa banner. That's what I'm assuming, guys. I don't know anything for sure, so I could be completely off about this. For all I know, this could be a free ticket, but I think it's very unlikely. Uh, I do think it's gonna be exactly like the Halloween ticket where you do a big multi, three guaranteed SSRs on the uh, legendary summon banner. So I'm probably gonna pick this up just in case I can use this ticket and just pull the killing Khalifa right off the bat and not have to do any more summons. But uh, we'll see exactly what this ends up being. But we do have a new Christmas ticket. As far as the old Christmas tickets go, I do still think it's gonna be for a surprise uh, Tanabata banner, basically the banner that featured the LR GoBros and LR Super Saiyan 4s. We don't have anything in the um, data download about that, but I still feel like there's a chance. Maybe, uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I feel like it's gonna be some kind of like Christmas surprise we get on Christmas day, but we'll see, all right? So new Christmas ticket right there, premium Christmas ticket. Moving on now, we have the details for the next Extreme Z Awakening on Global. Not Super Saiyan Blue Kalk and Goku, but honestly, almost as good, if not better for some people. I mean, okay, I wanted Super Saiyan Blue Kalk and Goku's Extreme Z Awakening just to pair with the STR one so they can, they can be run in the same rotation on Global, but um, I'm actually more than okay with this because before the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kalk and Goku came out, uh, I actually wanted this guy the most, so I'm glad he's finally getting his EZA on Global. We are way overdue for this, as you can see uh, at the bottom here. Uh, JP got the EZA in April. Now it's December, so we're finally getting him on December 20th. It's It's been way too long. It's, it's almost like they forgot about this guy, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. So going over his details here, for anybody that doesn't know, his new leader skill becomes Tech Types Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%, Super Attack, Earthbreaker, Extreme, causes immense damage and massively lowers defense, and his passive gives him attack plus 80%, reduces damage received by 80% when HP is 50% or more, and receives uh, reduced, reduces damage received by 50% plus an additional attack plus 50% when HP is 49% or less. So if you compare that to the old passive, where he gets damage received minus 70% and attack plus 70% when HP is 50% or above, um, this was good except when he fell below 50% HP, you were screwed because he had no passive whatsoever, so he did no damage. I mean, he didn't do no damage, but he did very little damage, and he also couldn't tank at all. So now... He gets more damage or more attack boost, he gets more um, tanking, more damage reduction uh, above 50% and then he still gets a good amount of um, damage reduction but also getting a even more insane attack boost because it's 50% uh, on top of the 80%. So uh, yeah, he just, be he just becomes ridiculous. He is such an amazing unit and I do have this guy rainbowed of course so definitely doing a showcase as soon as this becomes available. And uh, there you go. So I mean as far as links go they're the same, the categories are the same, his stats become uh, pretty insane obviously 17.2k attack, 10.9k defense, uh, not the greatest I mean, it's not bad, but not the greatest, but considering he gets uh, up to 80% damage re uh, reduction, um, I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. And on top of that, we have 16,941 HP. So those are his max stats at rainbow status. So EZA Tech Golden Frieza. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think about this, how you feel about it. If you're, you know, happy or disappointed, were you hoping for somebody else? Like I said, I am completely okay with this. Moving on. We did get the details for a few old 
uh, story events returning as always with celebrations we do get you know old events being featured right so we're getting the uh what is what is this called strongest rivals the strongest rivals cooler event coming back we're also getting the metal cooler event coming back and finally we're getting the other world story event coming back as well so uh one thing i wanted to mention is that this story event actually got a a renewal on on JP I believe when the STR cooler came out yeah so when the STR cooler came out they uh, renewed this event and there was a free-to-play tech cooler that was farmable um, but I don't believe we're getting that right now because uh, this was for the release of the STR transforming cooler and since we're probably not getting that until next year. Um, I'm gonna say we're probably gonna they're probably gonna stick with the old event. So no farmable cooler, just uh, you know the metals and uh, I mean nothing too exciting here, honestly. So there there you go, guys. The uh, cooler event, the metal cooler event, as well as the other world event returning. And that is all the information we got from the data download, guys. Christmas ticket, EZA Tech Golden Frieza, as well as LR Kel and Khalifa banner. And of course, we already knew about the renewal for the Bojack story event. And that's going to do it for today's video. Now, I'm not saying that there couldn't be more stuff. There might be some kind of social media campaign or some kind of other surprise thing we get in the news that we don't know about right now from the data download. But this is all we learned from the data download in regards to part two of the Christmas celebration and there's some pretty good stuff in there. There's definitely some pretty good stuff in there. I'm not complaining at all. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are content with everything we've learned so far. I know some people wanted like a completely new unit or um, I don't know something else more hype like that but I mean I really didn't expect it. I think LR Kale and Khalifa is supposed to be the main like big hype banner and i know some people have mixed feelings about that i kind of do personally because i'm not nearly as excited for them now as i thought i would be um a couple months ago but that's okay that's okay we're still gonna summon hopefully we pull them uh summoning videos coming soon of course so that's it guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out